Today I'm going to be taking a look at another one of my sketchbooks, and I'm a big believer, uh, have been since my early 20s of travel, and in every place I've gone, I've tried to keep a sketchbook. Uh, in, in fact, uh, I do this more than even taking photographs. This is uh, a trip I'd made to Guatemala. And uh, throughout this, I include snippets of things that I saw and visited, such as tourists uh, bargaining with the people there, uh, portraits of people that I happen to get a shot of. And some of these are just collages of different uh, things that I saw on the street, in the countryside. Here's a, a bus that we would see go by often. And all kinds of handicrafts Guatemala is full of amazing, uh, interesting uh, handicrafts, along with plant life, which is uh, unreal. And, of course, the volcanoes that are sprinkled throughout and uh, in, in and around Antigua. Food vendors on the street. Uh, are always something I've tried to capture in various countries I've been in. Uh, this page is not quite done yet. Uh, the buildings and the vegetation was were something that I really were interest, was interested in. The greenery of Guatemala is amazing. Uh, it's such a lush place to paint and draw. So many things in other countries that I'm unfamiliar with, and that's something I really like to capture in the sketchbook. Uh, here's one that's just uh, one color. Uh, but this is uh, an image of the Guatemala Highlands, uh, which was quite cool compared to the rest uh, down below. Bird life, uh, another thing that was extremely interesting to me. Uh, just a very rustic place. Uh, it's almost like you can just step back in time. And that's the way it is with a lot of places. Being an American, uh, I am so used to things being torn down and built new. It's always wonderful to go to a foreign country where things are preserved more and um, you can see uh, direct connections to the past. Of course, the people, very interesting to draw. The different places within the city, Workers I saw transporting a variety of things. Um, of course, here's another one of the uh, highlands where we were able to go up and see the vast landscapes. The colors, the patterns of the people um, was something that was uh, I, I really loved working with. Here I divided the page up into two parts. Uh, Lake Atitlan was what that was. Uh, the color of the buildings. Uh, and this is one of my favorite things was, were the cemeteries. The cemeteries are so brightly colored. It was like a place of celebration. Once again, the people. And the open doorways and various places. And that's the end of that sketchbook. I'm going to show you some loose pages now. Color was such an explosion there that I couldn't help but be influenced by it. The old buildings, uh, just gorgeous and totally invited me in to draw them. The scene was right up from the, uh, the house that we rented to stay in. And every day, the little uh, little town squares were, were alive with people, color, love the palm trees within the, uh, the old houses. And here's a page of just faces I captured uh, on daily times outside. Uh, another person. And this is back at uh, Lake Atitlan near the volcano. Mm -hmm. 
my sketchbooks really are kind of a personal diary for me. Um, instead of the written word, I have so many pictures that I've collected through the years, uh, throughout Asia, Europe, Central America, across the United States, etc. Uh, the open squares with the fountains. Once again, the people that were gathered in town. And that is my experience in Guatemala. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Please subscribe if you liked it and hit the like button and I will see you next time.